Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. And it snowed today, I don't know, about maybe two or three inches. And we're gonna test out the defrost feature on the Teslas to see how fast they defrost the snow off the car. Let's get right into it. All right, we're gonna start a screen recording and we're gonna go into the Tesla app. We're gonna go down to climate. I'm gonna go defrost car. It is 317 right now. And we'll also do the other car as well, the Model Y. Climate defrost 317. And let's see how long it takes for these cars to start to actually defrost all the snow. Here is what it looks like right now. There's the three. And here is the Model Y. It is now 318, so about, a, about a 30 seconds, about a minute or so since I started the defrost function on the vehicles. And I don't know if you can hear it, but they're both on. So we'll see how long it takes. All right, so here we are, it's uh, 332. So it's been about 14 minutes since we turned the defrost on. And as you can see the side windows here, at least on the three are kind of frosted and kind of the back window too. You saw a little snow fall off of that. Uh, you kind of see the back window more than you could before. And then on the Y, kind of a bad angle here, but the windows are defrosting. Let's see if I can bring it over here. You can see that the windows on that side somewhat are defrosting. And uh, we haven't yet gotten outside yet to start uh, shoveling. Somebody came into my driveway here, so it's probably gonna turn into ice. So I'm gonna get out there and try to de-ice that before it gets worse. Um, but here you can see, kind of see the back window getting a little bit better here as well. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys handheld here, and uh, let me show you the why. Pretty much all of the sides completely defrosted. Same with the top, as you can see, it's happening as well. Same with the. Uh, the back, the rear view window here, it's back window. Let's go to the Y, sorry, let's go to the three. Here's what we got going on there. This is the back window. It is currently 357. I turned it on at 317. So let's see the top here. And then you'll see that the front why or the three sorry is completely done more or less sorry for the noise the cars are still going um, but the front is not so you know there is no nothing here on both cars so that is never going to defrost uh, but you're going to have the windows all defrosted so you can see the fronts completely done sides pretty much all done and um, so yeah that's how long it takes for most of the car to be defrosted We'll see how much longer it takes for the uh, the top of the car to be done here, um, but we'll probably have to take the snow off of the uh, the uh, hood and then you know a little bit off the back of the car. All right, we're now at 4:23, and this is what the car looks like. Like I said, back probably will never come off unless I do it myself. Here's the top because there's the pillar here. You're probably never gonna get that done either without the help of you know getting it off yourself. Uh, here is the front of the car, and I actually took some of the snow off myself here. Like I said, you'll never get that off. The uh, This car over here, let me see, back up there, all the windows are done. This is done here, and then the top is completely done because there is no pillar. Um, and funny enough, it's at 21%, we didn't charge it last night, like little dum-dums, and uh, so the uh, defrost climate control features kind of shut off at 21%, so it doesn't like kill the battery completely. Uh, but we just plugged it in, turn it back on. We'll get the snow off ourselves off the front. But um, I mean, what, 423, I started at 317. For the most part, all of the snow came off. Uh, but you can definitely do this and start this and then come off and do you know a little bit so you're not clearing off all the snow. Like I said, it doesn't clear off everything, especially like in the, con uh, the trunk area, 
the hood area. You'll have to do that yourself, but completely done otherwise, other than the pillar, uh, or where the pillar is here in the front. I don't know what you gonna call it, but that I call it the pillar. Uh, going across the front of the, or going across the middle of the Model 3. And then this end, all done up top. So overall, pretty good job. Just gotta get this front area cleaned off. And that is that. So, you know, it was about two or three inches. I was able to do a really good job. There's no icing left at all whatsoever, as you can see here on either car. So that is amazing. So that is that for this video, and we'll see you soon on the next one. If you've liked it, give it a nice thumbs up. Questions, comments, suggestions, put it in the comments section below. And like always, keep on living a modern lifestyle through technology. And don't forget to subscribe. We're out. Pretty crap ending here, but it'll do nonetheless. Say what up, Ba. He's happy because he was out here with me helping out you. Yeah.